All right, Tom, we need to talk. All right. Because the, the normal one's got that red in yeah. the eye sockets, but there aren't really eye sockets on this guy. Oh, I think we could still make Put a little more. red. Yeah. And so the gums, are the gums maroon? Gums are red. They're um, red. Okay. Well, maroon, the, the kind of dirty pink that we use. It's going to suck no matter what. Yeah. But it might be faster to brush the teeth. Rather than try to pick them out, and yes, with all that over and, and it's going to be messy. And in that way, then you can just come in big red, mm-hmm. and then you just fix them. So this is uh, kind of like a like a dirty paint. I'll show you. That it's uh, kind of one of our staples around here. So we're just gonna do everything. We're thinking it's gonna be faster to come back and it's a pain in the butt, but it's gonna be faster to come out and pick out these teeth by hand than it would be to find a way to, to spray them. I'm gonna kind of mimic what his grandpa has. The mutant gets some some of that maroon in the eye sockets. It makes him look tired, like he hasn't slept in weeks. And you know, it, it's just one of those cool little touches. Right? Being like a, a pale, sickly flesh tone, because it's adding just, you know, a little bit of warmth to it. If you're doing this at home, wear a respirator. Then we, so we got lots of definition and contrast. We kind of go in the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and sometimes the ears, and add just a little bit more of that ink. And then we'll let those dry and we can rub them off. I'm gonna be pretty straightforward rub out. If you haven't seen some of our other videos, we're Going in with a sponge that's saturated with 70% alcohol. Not too dry, not too wet. You'll kind of, with, with a little bit of time and practice, you'll kind of find what is the right saturation for you. Um, cases where you are better off wearing a respirator. On the full-sized mutant, we use this kind of um, dirty red color um, to add warmth to areas and to paint veins. Um, and it's great on that because it's since it's kind of like a dirty red it's very very sickly and looks like there's something wrong with him um, but we want this guy to be just a little bit more you know friendly and approachable so i don't want to make him too jaundiced and horrific to look at uh, okay. so i'm gonna just hit his belly button knees you know we're going pretty subtle here maybe a little bit on the top of his belly and between his chest and we can use this to add some depth to the gums and the tongue and we'll give him a little just a little bit of a red nose and some red ears make him look young and full of life Go in with our super special fancy white. Yeah, that is way easier than doing that with ink. It is, and it's going to look so much better. We talked about even speckling the mutant, the baby mutant, um, but we want him to 
still be cohesive with the other gremlins. Um, and, you know, of course, if he was speckled, um, he wouldn't. Like, and that's the thing. I think he, you know, still mostly reads as, uh, as a pale flesh tone. Um, and I do think he's got that, that kind of almost comic book, cartoony uh, level of high contrast like the other ones do. Oh, you painted acrylic, yellowy acrylic on the eyes. Yeah. Still the, the same color I do with the off-white ink. I can make it lighter, though. I, I've been, I had to add white to the ink this weekend. It's just too, uh, it's too jaundice. It's not healthy. And on a cartoon character, I'm a little worried that it's it's not as cartoony. It's a little, little too. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's okay. This isn't too bad, but it's. And you're brushing with a big brush. Yeah. Okay. And it'll be a little more subtle too, I think. Yeah, that looks. That looks really nice. Tom, you're gonna have to be a little more careful there. A little, a little more careful. Does That's you right. Paid to do this stuff? I sure do. I shouldn't be, but I am. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a pain in the neck. Maybe we need um, a little smaller brush. I think well, you know, we could do a smaller brush on these little spots in here. Yeah, and then a big one. Or, you know, it, it might just be a matter of getting the angle right and kind of twisting those legs outwards. Because then once you get to the big spots. Yeah, it's nice to have that. Like that. So this is a uh, super, super kind of bright, almost chartreuse, um, that is fairly transparent. And so with this one, we're doing the, the same approach that we take on the big mutant's eyes. Um, where I just line and kind of fade the whole outside of the eye with that green. Okay. Now we'll do some pupils. Roughly the same area, and then we'll just kind of beef it out a little bit. Ooh, I like them. Uh, hmm. So the eyes are different. Yes. But the uh, diaper and the color, that, that all worked really well. On the right with huh. the addition of an inner kind of white stripe in the pupil. I want that white stripe. You want I, the white stripe? Yeah, it's bugging me. It's too wide, but maybe that white stripe will fix that problem. Right. Don't, you think, don't you think the guy on the left looks a little bit... Like super angry. I don't know if it's the. Way I don't it's think I like the guy in the left. I. I don't think I like his. I don't know. It's too busy. The eyes. Something's yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Something's. Yeah, the placement of the eyes is not. Well, and of course there's slits, which, you know, he he needs to look like his dad, but it. I don't know slits with. Round irises. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. The trouble is when you when you're working on something, you always come in with like agendas, and you have to stop that, and you have to back up and just look at it fresh, with yeah. no agenda. And uh, you know, of course, the agenda was to get it smaller, so. There's part of me that wants to say, well, that's what I wanted, there it is, you know, but you can't do that. You have to look at the whole thing, and I'm not sure that. Yeah, let's, let's just bring my head to see what Mike said. Because that's one thing that actually kind of helps is when you have people that have been looking at it and like making, I, you know, people like to have their ideas be right. High. Yeah. You know, I do think I like the darker red line underneath the nose. You got any See other ones you can back. put on there? I don't like any of them. Oh, oh my! Oh, there's no right answer. It's all subjective. Is the it right is. answer the one on the right? So, favorite eyeball. There's, there's sort of three choices. 
I gotta go with the right. The right? Kind of the slanted okay. eyes. Okay. Kind of fits him a little bit better. Tyler, what's your, what's your stance? I think I have to agree with Zach. Okay. I think this one, that specific one, the skinny one. I feel like that one looks too much like a normal eye. I'll put a booger in one of them. <laughs> All right, Ed, come look at this booger. Oh, I hate oh, that. a green That's booger. Terrible. That's so bad. Now, if it was clear, it wouldn't be so bad. Can you get that off of there? Yep. <laughs> and then, you know, here's the thing. It, to be innovative, you have to try bold, crazy stuff. And it could have been the greatest thing ever, green booger. But it's but it was not. No, it wasn't. But this time. But that's that's how you innovate. You do stuff you never want to do. Great. Uh, overbite, underbite. Hey, this pops has got an underbite too. Oh yeah. So I've been playing with this. It's kind of a new entertainment. <laughs> the real one. Oh, this is new. That's awesome. Oh, Tell me. That's great. Tell me that's not garlic. That is so cool. That's super cute. I love it. Here's your baby. You get a mutiny. You get a mutiny. Everybody gets a mutiny. You guys do animals and forms. Those are great. Okay. We'll just get seat belted in my car next to me uh, and we nice. go around. And yeah. He's going to the board meeting on Thursday and he will be at the business group uh -huh. meeting on Friday my, with us. I'll take him to my Unicorn Civic Center board meeting. Yep. Last year I made a special backpack baby holder for you. Just carry him where we go and he goes with you. This is my baby carrier. We have a stroller. Go to the group. They got all the events. We have a stroller. He's going to bite you though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not cute. He needs a baby stroller. He's going to be on stage with me. Oh! You guys. That's awesome. I can't believe you guys before you knew it was coming. <laughs> you know, with all the music, you'll never even hear that. And Groovy will be there waving to everybody. And that lasts for actually two minutes after the after the song was over. Sorry, I know exactly what it was, but sometimes you have your own name. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. We're calling him Arnold, but that's not. It's just funny.